All right, welcome back to my channel, Cozy Christopher. Now, I've been talking about doing a setup uh, studio tour um, type deal for a long time. I haven't done one because I don't really feel like I have right like YouTube studio type deal. Like I have a really nice office and I make videos from it. So let's jump into my first setup. As far as the headset, I'm rocking the Astro A30s and these are pretty much um, they came out last year, right at the end of the year there. One of Logitech's newest offerings, you know, a Astro, Logitech, etc. For my mouse, I'm rocking the Lamzu Atlantis, extra lightweight mouse here. Um, if you don't know what this mouse is, then, I mean, you were on the rock because this year this mouse took off. For my keyboard, I'm rocking the uh, LTC Neon 75. And um, it looks kind of funny on the camera there because of the lighting and the frames per second versus what the light is firing at. But this uh, keyboard is amazing. I got a video that's going to come out soon on this. I'm still working on it. Um, also on the desk here, you can see the Sonos Beam 2. Now this is the actual beam. This is not the Ray. This is not the smaller version that they came out with for the um, PCs. Well, I did a quick video on it, like showing how I connected it to my laptop, but I haven't showed like what it's like to use a, an actual Sonos Beam 2 to game and stuff like that. So I got a video, you know, that I'm working on it. I'll put out soon. Now, as far as the desk, this is my Eureka desk. It's an RGB, as you can see, RGB top. Um, I think it's called the GTG 48, something like that. But it is an all glass desk on the top metal frame. Um, with RGB obviously coming up through and I did a dedicated video on this and uh, that's on the channel I am thinking about updating this desk as I um, need something different now I'm thinking about doing an L-shaped desk in the corner over here so over here I have my Logitech G Cloud of course and then I have my Nintendo Switch new grips that I just put on there from Oivo Games did a video on that the other day then of course down here I got my backbone, um, my Xbox backbone. Um, throw that in the bag and go. A Xbox 360, oh, sorry, Xbox um, Series X controller on here. Use that for PC gaming um, when I don't feel like using the keyboard. I got my Audio Technica MX, uh, what are they, MX50 uh, Bluetooth. It's the first version. I haven't got the twos yet, but I will get them. I really love those headphones. Um, those are the KZ game 10 uh, anniversary gaming heads uh, gaming headsets right there i use these pretty often because they do sound really really good i did a video on those they're, they're considered budget but i wouldn't consider them budget they're some phenomenal headphones uh, gaming headsets now as far as what's powering everything it is my alienware r17 uh, 17 inch uh, laptop and that's a 4k 120 hertz screen with the cherry mx uh, keys um, 30, I, I think it's a 3090 in there, but it's not really a 3090. It's a laptop version of the 3090 or mobile version of the 3090. Um, 3080, sorry. Uh, 3080 or 39, I can't remember which one it is, but I'll have to do a dedicated review video on that one um, for long-term use. I got some, some, some feedback and some thoughts on it. Now, as far as the lighting on this, everything in my office pretty much is Govi. And I have... The Gobi Bean or uh, yeah, Glide up top, and then I have a Gobi Desk Light on there as well. And of course, for every setup, you got to have a, a chair. And so, my chair of choice for this setup is the Herman Miller um, Gaming Chair Vantum. And this one is talked about. It's, you know, a lot of people have opinions on it. I have a good, a positive opinion on it. I really like the way it feels. The only downside for this, I've listened, I, I mean, I got a video on this, so check out the video. Can't beat it. For, um, the price has def has come down as well, so that may sway some people. That now that the price has changed for, for what it is and what it offers, prices, I think it's good. Okay, so over here in the corner is a chair that I got from Rooms to Go, and this is a power recliner with built-in speakers, a subwoofer, and Bluetooth. And uh, this is a chair, I believe, from the Eric Clapton series, I, I believe so. But it's, I mean, it's one of the most comfortable chairs I've ever sat in. It's in my office. I sit here and I do um, work sometimes. And I, I mean, I've had this thing about five years and it's in perfect condition. 
Um, and again, I've even used this to connect to my LG CX48, and you can connect this and use this as surround sound. And so now over here is my, I guess my kind of like my equipment setup, my, my controller setup. I mean, I don't really know what to call it, but I put my controllers here. I put my camera gear here, lenses. Um, you got two Govi lights, the Govi Aurora and the, just a regular Govi shelf light. Now the Govi Aurora light is extremely bright and so it's always sometimes hard to capture it on camera. But there it is there, it's, it's, it's doing the Pac-Man, eating, eating the, the dots thing there. And all of my controllers are down there. Um, well, I guess most of them, there's a lot upstairs too in my console setup. But got my different controllers down there, my scuff, my different Xbox. Also at the bottom I have my gimbals and so all of my gimbals are by June. So I got the M3 Crane, the Weevil S, and like a Smooth 4 or something like that for the mobile phone. Also inside my office is the Samsung S95B, and I've had this thing since the launch. Um, I'm going to be working on a long-term review because the second version is coming out this year, and so people are going to be deciding if this is a television that they're going to want to buy. A lot of people were afraid of the first version. I mean, being a first-time adopter of any brand new technology is kind of hard. It's hard to put your money up, you know, and things like that. You know, I was able to pick one up. Um, I've had great experiences with it, but I do have like some pros and cons to share. Uh, picture quality, I mean, you can't, you can't, there's no denying that. The picture quality is amazing. Um, I hope that version two, you know, fixes some of the things. Um, but stay tuned, I'm gonna do a full term, re a full time uh, or long term review on that. So, any thoughts, you know, any questions, put it in the comment section below. I'll try to address them in the video. Anything you see in this video, if you have any comments, questions, or anything, thoughts, um, Leave them in the comment section below. Okay, over here you have my pegboard. This bottom shelf kind of acts as a catch-all. has my Ninja V, my Air 2S controller, unboxing knives, like things that I use a lot. Like I'll stick in there and take it right back out. But that's kind of what that section is. You know, a little higher you have my cables that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, some of my other Rode mics, my Air 2S, some of my lenses. For my for my Fuji system up top you have my Black Panther mask and I purchased this you know prior to you know unfortunately chat with Bozeman but um, you know shout out to him rest in peace but Black Panther was a movement for me and um, really enjoyed you know his portrayal of Black Panther so um, I you know as that movie was coming out and it was being the trailers and things like that I, I ordered this from a company called God of Props it's a great piece it's a full-on wearable helmet, but you know my only problem with it is that one of the magnets went out in it in the back. Um, it can be fixed, but reached out to them and they never replied. And so I'll probably never buy anything else again from them. I mean, it was like 400 bucks at the time, but um, it's definitely great quality and they make great quality products. I'm not sure why they never responded, but all good. Okay, so my PC, it needs work. I know, listen, the fans are backwards in some spots, like my airflow is bad. I don't like when the fans are reversed. I just don't like that. So I've just like to help. I, I dealt with it. If I have to replace stuff, I will. Cause it is what it is. It's a decision that I've made, and I'm okay with it. So before you jump in the comments, I know fan the fan airflow. But I'm gonna be building a new PC. I gotta get some parts. So I've I've already purchased a new AIO and. I gotta buy a new motherboard. I gotta buy a new processor, all of those things. This is the Ryzen Threadripper 2950X with an Asus Rogue Strix um, RTX 3090 graphics card. Um, ton of Corsair fans. They're a pain in the ass to work with because of all of the cables. I got a bunch of stuff in this build. Go oh, handheld for a second. So I have a capture card in there, Elgato. I have a 10 gigabyte, 10 gigabit Ethernet card in there. Um, it's an it's an MX or X399 Creation motherboard. Got some custom cabling. I got some Corsair Vengeance, uh, Vengeance RAM, um, Corsair AIO, but switching to NZXT Z3, I think Z390, Z93, whatever it is with the screen. But yeah, I think I want to build a height Y60 all white build next. You know, white is my peripheral of choice, but 
Uh, I think I'll be doing that next, but definitely expensive. So if there's anybody watching that wants to collaborate, I would love to. Um, but down here I have my Nas set up. I mean, you got some backpacks and stuff sitting right there. One's work, one's my camera bag uh, or camera sash, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I got my TVS X72 XT Nas down there. I only got three bays filled. It's hella expensive. Um, I got my IPS, you know, modem down there with my Orbi Netgear um, uh, Wi-Fi 6 mesh kit. And I've done a complete video on that and it's amazing. You know, wires are crazy down there behind that. So, I mean, it's a, it's supposed to look like that. It's a server space. Up top, I got my PlayStation 5. And then, of course, I got another Govee light back there. Um, man. This is, this is a lot of work doing one of these videos. That's, this is why people, this is why it takes forever to do these. This is a lot of work. So right there in the middle of the desk, of course, is my LG CX48. That is a 48 inch OLED. This has been my main, main um, screen since the launch of this panel. I've had it now three years, four years, no issues at all. Um, my Days are long. I work from here, edit from here, play from here, do everything from here. So this is the main, um, you know, main panel in the room here that I'm on every single day. As far as other peripherals on my desk, you have the Sonos Arc is providing the sound. So I've used the Sonos Arc now for about two years. Um, I'm actually thinking about switching back to monitors. My cans of choice are the LG 735s. Now these released at some point um, at the end of 2022. And um, I kind of keep these on my desk. They're lightweight, easy to use. They have amazing sound profiles. You can tweak it within the Logitech G uh, software. So. This little guy right here is the Kingston workflow, and this is um, peer pressure from YouTube and other YouTubers having it, but picked it up because it is, you know, for card reader and things like that, and it does work really, really well. Um, speeds are good. Um, so, I mean, no complaints there. It can put multiple, I can dock multiple of those in there um, and get my, you know, stuff off of my card when I'm done. Over to the left over here is a lamp. It is, it's filled with a Govee RGB, um, you know, light bulb, but um, I just got that from Target pretty cheap. It was like 25 bucks or something like that. That's a catch all tray at the bottom there. So, I mean, I, I basically have my different things that I need at a hands, you know, dongle for my iPhone. My, um, over here is my Satachi charging. And that is, you know, priceless. It's 90 watts. On one, I think it's 90, 18, and then, you know, whatever the USB 3.0 is. This right here is my lavalier that I'm actually speaking through. I'm going to do a video on that, the WMX2 or WMX. This is a U-Perfect 4K60 um, portable monitor. And um, I've done some reels on this already. I have not done a main video on this yet. The main video is coming and be out this weekend or early beginning of the week. Moving on, this is a large, uh, extra large, um, white Litus XL gaming mat from ExtraFi. They were nice enough to send this out to me. I did a review on this. Um, it's a dope surface. Uh, I typically have a wool type surface, but this is a dope surface. They sent out to me when I was doing the M42 mouse review. Um, this is up on my channel too. This is my main gaming mouse right now. Um, you'll always see like a Logitech G604 because I use this for editing. So this will always be on my desk as well. Um, keyboard right now is the Yunzi X75 Pro. Now this is, I'm not, I have not done the video for it yet, but the video will be out soon for this. This is a sick, sick, sick board. Let me get you some cinema. This is a sick board. And so I'll have the video. Um, working on the video for this now, but whenever I'm not sitting at the desk, I kind of put the cover back on top. Coming over to the right side of my desk, this is the PD100U by 
Mayono, and this is a USB-C microphone, and it's, it's sick. I did a video on it recently, so go check out the video. Um, straight out of the box, it's phenomenal. It replaced my Fine Fine K658. Um, not necessarily like hands down better than the K658, but the sound out of it right out of the box is just plug and play, you know, speak into it and sound amazing. I mean, it, it's as simple as it gets. Like you plug it in and it's good to go. I have a Thron Max S6 low profile boom arm here. And it's one of the best pickups I've, I've done to update my desk. It's a low profile microphone that when I'm recording, I can have the camera out of frame or I can have the camera, I mean, not the, the camera, I can have the microphone out of frame or I can have it in frame, but it's low profile. It gives me exactly what I want. And then when I'm done with it, I just kind of, I just kind of fold it up, put it back where it goes. It rotates 360 so I can really do it wherever, you know, wherever you want. But um, that is a GVM like uh, light panel. Um, I want to 50S's. I can't remember what it is, but I have three of them. It came in a three pack. I got some knickknacks on the desk, so I got my Ray there from Star Wars. You know, I really love the little Funko Pops now. Um, I got a couple of them throughout the house. Charges, um, I did a video on that too. It was like a quick tech video for, for Christmas, somewhere around there. Um, but charges my iPhone, my, I, you know, my earbuds, my watch, all off of one cable. Um, So, cannot go wrong with that. I did a, I've done a couple videos on this. I'm, I'm gonna do the should you buy video here pretty soon, but I've done an unboxing. I've done a, you know, feature set, d went to details on the features. This is a sick controller. And I'm from the, I'm a 90s kid, right? So, I, you know, born in the 80s. So when I say sick, I mean, it's, it's, it's dope or it's good. <laughs> Aging myself, but it's a dope controller. From there, what's never in the picture is my newer, it's an arm. And I've had this maybe like four years now. And um, it's perfect. It does exactly what I need it to do. Let me get those lights off so you can actually see what it does. Lighting my desk, lights light my desk and light up, uh, they light up product when I'm doing top down or box reviews. And on that arm where the it's an arm that, that goes into the wall, so I have it attached into the stud there. Um, so it is rock solid. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, but that is my Video Mic Pro Plus, I believe from Rode, Video Mic Pro Plus or whatever it is. My Fuji X-T3, I had to send it in for some work. Um, it wasn't powering on, so that's what sits up there that I use for my top-down videos. So what you see here is a part from Amazon, and yes, I did cut through my extra fi gaming pad but i do all of my pads but this is a part that connects to the pc via a long extended cable but it's usb 3.0 usb 3.0 and then a type c there's also a card reader there and a slot to pull my cables through so when i do have a wired keyboard i can pull that through when i have a usb based device typically it would be my microphone my antelope um, audio microphone condenser mic that uses this or you see the count it's my Ulanzi digital smart clock and I basically got it to monitor my YouTube channel and as you can see I just hit 5,000 these great video maker ADS um, lights right here with the uh, with the with the dome on it I have two of them they're connected to Alexa so I can have them turn on Alexa, turn on Windows softbox. Okay. Okay, from there I have a Mavix footrest. Um, you see cables hanging, but those are actually the cables that I have at the top of the desk right there that, that I pull up when needed. And so I put a net or something down there at the bottom, but I'm not like Ed over at TechSource and like super, super anal retentive about it. But lastly, the gaming chair of choice right now is the Herman Miller N-Body. Um, sitting at my main setup and I actually switch this out from time to time with my Mavix M9 chair. They're two different chairs. They both have their qualities. Gear used to make my videos. There is my tripod. It's a very heavy duty 
newer tripod that I ordered from Amazon and it goes all the way up to like seven I mean it's above my head I'm six one it goes above my head for sure on top of it I have a GVM slider my only regret on this slider is that it's it has one of these old controllers and so you have to you bet you got to do everything you got to plug everything in and, and, and control it but as far as the slider it is a big slider and so there's a lot of functionality that I can get with that I actually want a smaller one because um, I don't use the full length of it, not very often at all. This is a newer monopod with a video head. Um, on the top, I got a video that I'm working on on this. This just came out, and so I've been using it. Got some thoughts on it. Ulanzi quick plates on top of everything. I use these quick plates on the bottom of my cameras, uh, etc. Camera that I use is a Sony A7S III. Ooh, that is a long video to do in one sitting it's 3 a.m and i'm exhausted but um yeah thank you so much for all of the support over the years two years five thousand subscribers is bananas to me so my goal i hit first goal was to get to five thousand second goal for this year is to try to double it up and get to ten thousand i went from one little under one thousand to five thousand over the last year so if i can get to ten thousand this year End goal is to get to CES 2024, get on the floor, share some great video with you all, um, see things in person and just get into the whole, you know, YouTube vibe there. So um, let me know any questions you may have. It may take me a while to get everything linked below. A um, lot of products in here. Took me a while, like four, like five years to amass all of this stuff um, and credit card debt and all that good stuff. Um, but let me know any questions about any of the products you've seen in, 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 the, in the comment section below. Um, but that's it. I'm exhausted. It's been a while since I did a video this long. So as always, stay cozy in that crazy world. And I will see you in the next video. Peace. So last but not least, the brains of my office. It's my Alexa. And... She manages all of my smart applications and lights, etc. Alexa, turn off office. Okay.